I am all, my eustachian tube is all stuffed on this side right here. And this has been happening a lot in the past week. You know what I think Zach Knight has been doing? I think he's exploding. Uh, he's, he realizes that the shield that protects me is expanding and expanding. And I believe it's killing off bad Jesuits. It appears that there is a shield uh, that is, that has, that has always been over me since I started doing my walks. And it's an extension of my genetic profile. Jesus told me that I have very powerful genes. He said, Gail, you have no idea how powerful your genetic profile is. He said, your King David, Catherine the Great genetic profile is really powerful. And he said, you're not ready to hear about it now. But he said, you have no idea. But I think I'm getting an idea because, um, I'm hearing brain to brain, which may be inaccurate, but I'm hearing brain to brain that my shield is expanding and getting thicker and stronger, and it's killing off bad Jesuits, but sparing good Jesuits, like Rule 13, I believe Jesus considers her a good Jesuit. So if a person has murder, hatred, and evil things in their heart, then Jesus is using the but the, the extension of my genetic profile, which is the shield around me, to kill them off. So it appears like this shield is expanding, and and I'm just wondering what will happen when it when and if this shield covers the entire earth. Um, and I got some comments from a Jesuit underneath one of my YouTube videos. In fact, I think it was the one about the shield, where he said. He said, we Jesuits will stop your shield, and uh, which indicates to me that what I'm hearing brain to brain is correct. Uh, I've been busy working on my audiobooks, and I'm still following Jesus' weight management program, which is calories in, calories out. This morning, I decided I'm going to try something different. Uh, I have these lemons that I bought, which I haven't been using, and I decided I'm going to squeeze them and have like a teaspoon with uh, water in the morning, just just to maybe give my metabolism. I don't know if that, Jesus told me that I am not to eat foods to alleviate symptoms, but um, I've, I've got to use the lemons, you know, I bought them. So I figured it's a teaspoon in the morning with water. We'll see how that goes. It may not make much difference. Probably it'll give me some vitamin C. Vitamin C helps with my allergies. Oh, and you know what? I figured out, you know why I'm getting, I got stuffiness in this eustachian tube about a week ago. And then it's this one. It has nothing, it has to do with something that's in the air. Whenever there's an allergen in the air and um, it starts to affect my ear, nose, and throat area, I get stuffiness in the eustachian tube. So apparently, I've been, Brent's been talking to me brain to brain, and he said that Zach Knight, the shield has gotten so good around you, Gail, that Zach Knight, you, he was like putting like a million new cockies trying to knock that shield down. And the shield, well, what happened is the uh, the new cockies would kind of like dribble down, but the shield would, and I think the shield actually causes some of the new cockies to ricochet and go back and hit the Jesuit ship that sent them. So the Jesuits in their drastic attempt to try to knock down the shield are killing themselves. Um, Jesus, this shield is an extension of my genetic profile and it's getting stronger. And I believe that if we all try to obey the Gale commandments, Jesus called them the Gale commandments. He showed up to Terrence Jenkins with these, what looked like computer tablets. And Terrence said, hey, Jesus, I thought you didn't believe in computer technology because Jesus told us that the computer and electricity were invented by Satan. So he doesn't use that. In, in his millennial reign, there will be no electricity and there will be no computers. Jesus has said, I dislike computer technology. And that's because that's Satan's technology. You know, when you go online or watch Jesuit news, did you think how that's all connected to electricity? So Satan right now, or God is allowing Satan temporary reign over the earth, has to do with how Jesus wants us all to have free will. And Satan right now is using elect his invention, which is electricity and the computers, to try to keep the world brainwashed to the Jesuit point of view when they watch the news. So you'll watch the news, and like if you do a search on Brett Spiner's wife, Lori McBride comes up. And um, Lori McBride is the wife of the Jesuit Brett Spiner clone, not the real Brett Spiner. But you, um, if you try to, 
when you go online, all those respectable sites are all Jesuit sites. And basically what Zach Knight does is anything out there that presents me as respectable and not the crazy paranoid schizophrenic woman has been eliminated. Like I know Bill O'Reilly has written reviews of my books and so has um, the, the uh, CEO of Amazon, Jeff Bezos. But they never make it to Amazon because what Zach Knight does is he uses his clone versions of the internet. He's got like, I don't know how many clone versions of the internet, but he's got more than one version of the internet and he regulates which version you see using very sophisticated, genius, satanic computer technology. So any, let's say uh, Jeff Bezos writes an Amazon review of my book, it'll get posted in the version that he sees. When he looks at his computer, he'll see the, Amazon, the review he wrote. But when you guys look at it, you'll see a different version and you will not see the review he wrote. You'll only see the reviews that Jesuit reviewers wrote or the few. And what the Jesuits do to create the impression that they are not using cloned versions of the Internet, they will filter out and they will allow some legit reviews to make it through. I mean, obviously, if you go to Amazon and the only reviews you see are um, one star reviews, it's pretty obvious that. Zach Knight is using his clone versions of the internet, so he allows some five-star reviews to get him, but he's selective. Like, nothing from Bill O'Reilly or Jeff Bezos is going to make it through what you guys, what the mainstream people see. So, you will see the version of the internet that Zach Knight wants you to see. And it's not the truth. It's, it's Everything you're watching is like smoke and mirrors. It's all an illusion. That's why who becomes president, like, I voted for Donald Trump. It's all smoke and mirrors. You don't even know if you're watching a Donald Trump clone or if the video that you're watching has been edited so that they put part of the real Donald in there and the clone Donald. And like lately, the Jesuits are getting really clever. Like, uh, like most of the pictures I see of Gerard Butler, who's on my marriage list, by the way, with this Jesuit woman, I forget what her name is. Oh, Morgan Brown. Most of them are with the Jesuit Ger Gerard Butler clone. I can tell because the clone is kind of shallow and overly, overly, you, you might say, well, you're wearing a bikini. The reason I'm wearing a bikini is because this lets you see how I'm doing on Jesus's weight management program, which is great. Calories in, calories out. And this, I'm eating balanced, but I am, you know, I'm also, what's great about myfitnesspal.com is when you look at it, you and you and you write down what you eat you're more aware of what you're eating and how many calories you're getting like i normally would love to eat just a cup of nuts but i log in the calories and like oh my god 800 calories from a cup of nuts that'll do it that'll just keep me from not eating it so what's nice about myfitnesspal.com is that i'm more aware of what i'm eating and i have more self-control and what I'll do is I'll, I'll think, well, I'd like to binge on a cup of nuts, but the strawberries are lower calorie, and I can eat the same amount and only get 50 calories. That's what I do. So it's working for me. I'm, I weigh about 130. I can't seem to get lower than this without starving myself, but I have increased my walk to 40 minutes a day. I found another route that I like that's more scenic, and I actually enjoy my walk, so I'm doing 40 minutes a day instead of 30 but I don't know if that's helping because I seem to be eating more. <laughs> Anyways, and another thing is what I like about the Gale Commandments, it puts structure in my day. So I, I know that I only have a certain amount of time to get everything done every day. So I don't waste as much time. Like uh, uh, what I'll, I'll devote two to three hours a day working on my writing or on an audio book. And then I like right now I'm making time to make a video about my life. And I also, I was really bad about doing my facelift exercises. And um, for 58, I look good. But the facelift exercises do help. And I have a link for that underneath. I actually bought them in 2009. One of my coworkers at Walmart was following it. And she said, this is a natural way to give yourself a facelift without having to go into surgery. Seems to help. I'm also using a... Um, a Neutrogena product that's a wrinkle cream that uses retinol or something like that. Oh, goodness, I forgot what I did with it. Anyways, that seemed, I'm not very good about using, I'm really bad about makeup like I, uh, <laughs> that's probably why Jesus never scolds me for spending too much on makeup because I don't, I'm not a big makeup person. I, uh, 
And I, I never use night creams or any of that stuff. So I am doing facelift exercises, but I'm not as regular as I should be, you know? So I just said, I'm thinking, Lord, I, you said I'm going to marry Brent Spiner. And when I get to him, I don't want to look like a wrinkly old prune. And Brent's been saying to me, brain to brain, you would never look like a wrinkly old prune to me, Gail. Don't worry about that. But I do, I want to, you know, I wanted to marry him when I was in my 30s. And I couldn't, when I was really pretty and everything. And now I'm in my upper 50s. And I still want to have a little bit of what I looked like back then. You know, so that's what I'm trying to do. <laughs> it's a challenge. When you're 58, almost 59, I'll be 59. So thinking, Lord, you got to wait till I'm a wrinkly old prune before you let me get to prep. But he knows what he's doing. Romans 8, 28. So he has his reasons. But anyways, the Lord is kind of preserving me. You know, he's helping me. And, and um, maybe this is his way of making it up to me that Brent and I can't get together until we're both old farts, you know. <laughs> so, but, bro, he loves me. The Oh, my audio book is really, really good for Brent Spiner's Flames. I, it really reads well. And what I'm doing is reading actual letters I'm working on it, reading actual letters that Brent wrote me in 2011. And it's a good thing that I made copies of that as the correspondence was going, because in, in, on September 15, 2011, the Jesuit Brent Spiner clone contacted YouTube and had that YouTube channel shut down. And I, pres I preserved all of that correspondence, which I could have lost if I hadn't done that. But I have a habit as when my, when my men write me, I make a copy of it and save it in a separate file. So that's what I did. So even though the channel got taken down, I was able to preserve that correspondence between myself, Gerard Butler and Vladimir Putin in 2011. And I made that into a book called Brent Spiner's Flames. It's an actual transcript of what Brent wrote me when he first started writing me. Um, and I think I'm doing a really good job of reading Brent too, because I remember what Brent sounded like when he talked to me on the phone in the 1990s and the early 1990s. I could never forget that. I just, I was just flabbergasted that this celebrity was so crazy in love with me and that I was horrified that I had to turn him down. Anyway, that's in all of my writings. So anyways, I'm working on Brent Spiner's Flames. Expect to finish the audiobook in May. Then I'm going to work on my novel, Silver Skies. That's a long one. That's going to be like a 20-hour long audiobook. That one's probably going to be finished in August. And then after that, I'm not sure what I'm going to do. I might get back to work on my book about uh, Jesus and Satan and Robin Williams. So it's, uh, but I'm, I don't waste as much time. And as you can see, I don't look bad for 58, almost 59. The Jesus diet, I'm weighing 130 pounds. I, it looks like I'm staying at about 130. I can't, I, I have this horrible habit of binging at night on berries and stuff. And it, it seems to help me breathe better. They, at night, the allergen count goes up. And so I eat a lot of vitamin C rich foods. They seem to help me breathe. Plus they, I sleep better when I feel full. So that's my weakness. So I maybe I'll never get below 130. Anyways, I'm just letting you know how I'm doing. I have my eustachian tube is stuffed today. And that's because of the Nukakis that Zack Knight's been dropping all around me. He's trying to destroy the shield. But from what I understand, it's like covering like 80% of the earth right now. And it's growing and expanding because I'm obeying the Jesus commandment. I'm wondering if, if, this, if and when this shield covers the whole earth, if Jesus might end up replacing electricity with Jesus power. And boy, I wonder what will happen when that happens. Maybe the clone versions of the internet won't work. Oh, that would be a kid. That would be awesome. It's like people would say, wow, I didn't know this about Gail. Maybe we'll be able to get the Gabriel Chana Fox. I don't know. But I think it's going to be wild, man. You guys, follow the Gail commandments. We've got to get this shield to keep growing. I believe pa Jesus said that I and my men would defeat the Jesuit order, and maybe it's this shield, which might explain why Zach's been dropping millions of new cockies on it and causing my eustachian tube to get all stuffed up from all the allergens. He's using concentrated forms of new cocky now because less of them are effective because of the shield, and I'm, I'm getting a, some allergy problems here, but it's okay. I, it's, it could be worse.